What if I tell you that there are two companies benefiting massively from the Dogecoin and general crypto market volatility? In this video, I will discuss two super cheap penny stocks which are related to the cryptocurrencies trading and compliance related services. The beauty of these stocks is whether investors lose or make money on Bitcoin, Dogecoin, Ripple or Ethereum due to sudden rise and fall, these companies will earn massive amounts as commissions. For example, Dogecoin traded volume reaches billions every day. Some people made money and some lost big time, but exchanges providing trading services made huge amounts of money from both way movements of the coin. The trading volume of Bitcoin was 97 billion up massively from the average trading volume. This means huge commissions to crypto exchanges. Bitcoin, Dogecoin, Ethereum and many other cryptocurrencies are depicting extreme volatility nowadays and the companies related to these cryptocurrencies are also observing high trading volume, hence leading to higher revenue numbers. Also, just a quick request to like this video and subscribe to the channel to receive instant alerts. Also, just a quick reminder that you can join for free on Discord through Patreon. You won't be charged till April 30th. As a benefit, you will get access to our 3 exchange portfolio and early access to new picks. We already quadrupled our money with BBKCF when it touched $4 and now it's consolidating between $2 to $3, still up 3x from our initial call. I have added several new stocks to the portfolio for at least 3x gains and we are already up on our stocks and down on a little bit on this weirdo hot MF. Others will move as per their highlighted catalysts. Also, by joining on Patreon, you will receive weekly technical alerts like support, resistance, buying and selling levels on each of our portfolio stocks. You can make your short term trading decisions based on these alerts. The link to join for free is given in the description down below. Now let's get back to the video. First on the list is TechX Technologies Incorporated, ticker symbol TECXF. TechX offers 40 plus coins to trade, including Dogecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, to name a few. TechX Technologies focuses on emerging technologies across growth sectors, including crypto, blockchain, artificial intelligence, Internet of Things, and cloud based technologies. The main point of attraction for us are its two unique segments one is its portfolio company, Catalyx Exchange. Catalyx Exchange is Canada's premier cryptocurrency exchange with over 40 plus altcoins available for purchase. You can buy Dogecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, etc., you name it, and they have it. Catalyx is experiencing monster growth. It achieved a 1542% quarter over quarter increase in trading volume in Q1 of 2021. On month over month, this trading volume increased 91% from 14.88 million Canadian dollars in February 2021 to 28.44 million Canadian dollars in March 2021. Deposits increased by 1050% quarter over quarter from 1.2 Canadian dollars to 13.8 million Canadian dollars. Revenue increased by 545% quarter over quarter from 82,172 Canadian dollars to 529,725 Canadian dollars. With this low market cap and huge growth numbers, I see TechX as an undervalued share. Next month's numbers will be even better. Recently, the company appointed the Netcoins founder Michael Vogel as independent director and CyberSC founder Dominic Vogel as advisor. He founded Netcoins in 2014, rapidly scaled the company as CEO and CDO to thousands of customers and millions in revenue, before leading the company to public listing in 2018 and selling it to big digital assets. With Michael Vogel on the driving seat, I believe that Catalyst will take off and continue to grow at a rapid rate. Now the second point that I'm bullish on is their token Cadex. Their token Cadex will start trading on one of the top 10 crypto exchanges from early May. Every CADEX token is fully backed and redeemable for one Canadian dollar and is held in an audit account managed by Prime Trust, a Nevada chartered trust company who is the official regulated trustee and CVC administrator for CADEX. Those who don't know what crypto tokens are, listen carefully. Tokens are cheap, secure and easy ways to transfer money from one place to another. I consider these token systems to be the next big thing. What if you can transfer billions in 3 seconds and the charges are just a few dollars? The banking system will have to adopt these technologies today or tomorrow, not just a matter of time. Their token will be backed by Canadian dollars and PEG will be maintained and audited to ensure compliance. Catalyx will earn commission on every transaction. I believe that the banks will be the next in crypto adoption out of necessity. They must adopt efficient and better systems for money transfer. I believe that in the near term, banks will offer checking, savings and crypto accounts to their customers. 
Next on the list is Big Digital Assets, ticker symbol BBKCF. Despite all the favorable business scenarios, stock price took a massive dip of 38% from 4 to 2.5. As explained above, Big Digital Assets makes money from trading, not the price of Bitcoin. These past 2-4 to four days must have earned them lots of commission due to higher volume. If you look at the daily volume, you will notice that there is unusually high volume of Bitcoin on April 18th when it fell massively. But guess what? This must be very good for Netcoins. If you want to understand, then read this information from the company's own reporting. Big Digital Assets owns Netcoin Exchange, and the CEO said this. We would also like to continue to highlight that Netcoin's revenue model is solely dependent on trading, where a percentage of every trade is booked as revenue, regardless of the price of the underlying crypto asset being traded. Highly volatile days for Bitcoin and crypto assets drive higher trading volumes and higher revenues even if the assets are trending downwards. The future of crypto is bright and with increased adoption and penetration, big digital assets through its subsidiary is ideally placed to benefit from this trend. Just look at the massive growth numbers. Listen carefully. Quarterly revenues grew 337%, 4.4x and 1976% year over year. Trading volumes grew 266%, 3.7x, quarter over quarter, and 1950% year over year. New subscribers grew by 236%, 3.4x, Q over Q, and 853% year over year. Assets under custody, AUC, have grown 227%, 3.3x, quarter over quarter. Daily verified users, full KYC, grew by 229%, 3.3x, quarter over quarter. Trading margins continue to track above 1%. In addition, Netcoin's revenue in the first half of April has continued to accelerate, growing by 42% over March 1-15, to and transaction volume grew by 44% over the same period. 40% higher April numbers mean that the next quarter numbers will be even higher. The company is also actively engaged in the advertisement and promotional activities for its coins. For example, read this management commentary. Further, Netcoins continued to expand its marketing programs across Canada with national TV ads, including National Hockey League and primetime news programming, national radio ads, and a wide range of social media ads and social influencer promotion. Netcoins is also actively engaged with the SEC to get its regulated crypto license. Once approved, it will be huge for Netcoins, because banks and institutions will flock to Netcoins to buy crypto and still remain compliant on their books. This offers a massive opportunity for Netcoins. Big is a huge advocate of regulated crypto trading and adoption. You can read this article titled, Crypto Adoption Has No Future Without Regulation and Law Enforcement. The Canadian government has made it mandatory for trading exchanges to get regulated, and Netcoin is ahead of the game in this regard. Now let's discuss some technical points. After touching a high of $4, it has fallen below 3 and should consolidate between 2 to $3. It was trading near overbought levels, and the dip was expected. Accumulation strategy should be adopted near the lower half of $2 to sell in the next rally. Crypto exchanges are the future, and banks and big institutions are waiting for them to get regulated so they can purchase big time and remain compliant. Big digital assets is ahead of all the crypto exchanges. They are also assisting the US government in regulating crypto transactions. That's all for today's video. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video.